We are turning our backs to the broad Atlantic as we enter the Mediterranean through the Straits of Gibraltar. The famous rock rises majestically in the distance to a height of 1,400 feet on the southern tip of Europe. Facing Gibraltar on the African coast stands Mount Abila. The ancients call these two peaks the Pillars of Hercules. In those far-off days, they thought the Earth was flat, and the mariners of the Mediterranean never ventured beyond the Pillars of Hercules for fear of falling off the edge. We turn into the Bay of Algeciras and come to anchor between the Spanish town of that name and the British fortress of Gibraltar. And as usual, the natives come out in small boats to tempt us with their wares. And now we are on British soil. The town is comparatively modern. The old town was completely destroyed 150 years ago during the famous siege by the Spanish and French. In this colony of the British crown, the governor is supreme. He has the unique power of making his own laws without even consulting parliament. Splendid military roads have been cut out of the solid rock to give ready access to the signal tower which reports to the world the pang of all ships through the straits. The Spanish town of Algeciras lies directly across the bay. Looking down, we get a good view of the barracks where the British garrison is quartered. The bastions that played such an important part in ancient warfare are now useless. The guns have all been moved way up on the rock. Below the barracks, we see the docks and the moles that protect the inner harbor in which an entire fleet can take refuge and where no submarine or torpedoes can attack it. Naval stores are kept here in great quantities. Dry docks and a complete machine shop make it possible to repair all the damaged ships. The long road ahead leads to the boundary line between this British possession and the territory of Spain. Although the rock is impressive from the sea, the majesty of its upflung mass of grey limestone is still more impressive from the land. Reaching skyward like a gigantic finger, it seems to point a warning to aliens to keep aloof. For Gibraltar is a British military reservation on which none but British subjects may reside permanently. The alien workers are required to leave town and cross the line each day when the sunset gun is fired. At daylight, they may return to perform their various tasks. Those still seeking employment hang around on the sands at the base of the rock. Some of them earn a few pennies selling fruits or souvenirs to the visitors. They are a mixed lot, mostly of Genoese or Italian descent. As we motor along the road on the western slope above the town, we get a close view of the northern head of the rock. In this mass of limestone, the British laboriously cut the celebrated rock galleries which conceal and protect the big guns. A branch of the road leads down to the village of Catalan on the east side of the rock. When, after the terrific siege of 1779, which lasted four years, the British finally went out, it was in this square that the gallant commander of Gibraltar, General Sir George Eliot, received the French Duc de Crillon, who had commanded the attack. The late enemy shook hands with words of mutual respect and admiration for each other's valor and constancy. The houses were in ruins then. They have since been rebuilt. That was the 15th siege of Gibraltar. From its termination until the present day, Great Britain has remained in undisputed possession of the fortress. Nowadays, peddlers go from house to house offering their wares in this primitive fashion. They are inspired by the same idea that has made the five and ten cent stores rich. Little of everything at a low price. But their chances in Gibraltar are very slim indeed. Well, goodbye and good luck. Hey, watch out there, look out for the car. Even here we find the ever-present street photographer. Steady there, my arties, he says. A little smile now to please the ladies back home. Okay, as the Yankees say. Hmm. I wonder what the girls back home will say when they get this one. Here you are, sir. Only a shilling apiece, sir. And I hopes the ladies will like them, sir. Thank you, Captain. Since the days of Noah, there seems to have existed a strong bond of sympathy between mankind and the gentle pigeon. 
The town is built on the west slope of the rock. And the space was so small that the builders were compelled to make all the streets narrow like this one. Sure-footed donkeys are used to carry burdens up and down these steep alleyways. And here are a couple of old friends who have patiently done their daily duty side by side for many years. The one on the left is the donkey. Those who live in Gibraltar have to depend on rain for their water supply. Some houses have their own cisterns, which collect rainwater from the roofs, just as they do in Bermuda. Others have to buy their water from this young man. He delivers it at your door for a penny a pailful. The garrison, however, has a six million gallon reservoir cut out of the solid rock. This is fed by the rain that runs off the upper slopes. And a little rainwater wouldn't do any harm to this old lady. Now we wonder how she got so dirty in such a clean place. Ah, oh, I see. She has been delivering coal. Well, no wonder. Everywhere since the days of Eve, the mother instinct crops out early in life. When little girls are privileged, they practice on dolls. But when they are poor, they simply fondle a younger brother or sister. The garrison's young hopefuls. When they grow up, they doubtless will want to be soldiers just like their fathers. Blow hard, sonny, that's right. Come on, <laughs> once more, <laughs> that's a good boy. <laughs> it was through the ruins of the old gate that stood on this spot way back in 1783, when the British possession of Gibraltar was finally assured, and all the Spanish inhabitants marched out to go and found a new town of their own on Spanish soil. Back once more on our ship, we take a farewell look at the famous rock of Gibraltar, the guardian of the Mediterranean, and the accepted emblem of all that is strong, solid, and enduring. The end of Gibraltar, the southernmost tip of Europe, the lighthouse on Europa Point. <laughs>